Hi friends, it's Allison Salvin with Stamp Crazy with Allison. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in New Westminster, British Columbia, which is on the west coast of Canada, just outside of Vancouver, 20 minutes outside of Vancouver. So welcome if it's your first time here. I'm happy to welcome you from wherever you are. Please comment so I can see that you've joined us. And while I'm waiting for you to pop on, I'm just going to make sure that I am broadcasting. So that will be my first thing I want to do. And it looks like I am. And Keisha, hello, girlfriend. Can you hear me? I'm just going to go over here. And it says I'm live on YouTube. That's always a good thing, too. Sounds like we're good. And sounds like... Yeah, I'm good. Hi, Ellie. How are you? Okay, I think we've got everybody. All right. Hi, hey, Cindy. How are you? I have a Facebook user. Who I'm not sure who that is, but hello, whoever you are watching me on um, Order Buddies, probably. All right. Oh, hi, Leanne. My gosh, everybody's popping on today. I'm going to miss you for a while. I'm going to visit my daughter and my sisters tomorrow. And so I won't be doing any lives unless I can figure out how to do them from there. You never know. Maybe I'll do one with my sisters. That'd be fun. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Diane. Hi. Oh, everybody are just popping on here. Awesome. Okay, so today I just want to show you here. We're going to be using the Celebrate with Tags stamp set. We've been doing using that for a couple weeks, Ange McKay and I. This is the bundle that we're using in our upcoming class. I've sent out an email today. So if you're on my newsletter list, you would have got it. Just letting you know that I can't believe how time flies, but tomorrow, so the 13th in the evening, I think I've set it at 11 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, is the time limit to register so that I can order the products so that you'll get them in time for our class, which is on November 5th. So. If you want to come, I really hope that you'll sign up ASAP so I won't miss out. Hi, Janet. Uh, you'd love to see me do a live with my sisters. It would be kind of funny. Like we could try that. Um, hi, Marilyn. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have a good time, Janet. Thanks, hon. All right. So let's get started. Let me focus in here on our workspace. So like I said, we're going to be using the Celebrate with Tags. This is a fantastic bundle. Have you guys seen it? Let me actually, because I have dissembled my, disassembled my set so badly. Let's go, where is it? Page 67. Let's look at it in the catalog when it's all pretty. So we've got the stamps. That's pretty obvious. And then here you can see the dies. Now I have kind of, oh, look at me, I've opened up my dies and they're everywhere because I was making cards for our class. We've got some really cute cards coming, you guys. So we've got these, this is my favorite. So we've got these tags. Now we've used those on a couple of cards uh, for you guys to see. So you probably saw that, but what I love is, oh, I love it when there's dies that cut out the shape. So that one cuts out the mitten. And then we've got one here that cuts out the balloon. Love that. And a few more shapes. So we've got a round shape, cuts out some of the words. And we've got this little tag, which I love, that cut, label that cuts out these two words. So we got lots of fun dies and stamps to use. So we're going to be using today, I'm going to be using the mitten. And be jolly. So we're going to have a Christmas theme. Now, when you join my, our class, you get, of course, the instructions for the four cards that we're going to make in the class. You get the pre-cut card materials, including envelopes to make the cards. You also get a goodie bag. So let me show you what's in our goodie bag. We're going to be sending you 12. Your bundle just arrived, Cindy. Awesome should come to our class, make some cards with us. So you're going to get the equivalent of 12, 12 by 12 sheets from the Celebrate Everything DSP. Now this DSP is only available to hosts. So people who spend $200 or more can order this 48 sheets 
of um, these beautiful designs, so four of each, but we're gonna send you a quarter of the pack. We're gonna cut it down to six by 12, just so we can ship it to you, okay? So look at this, it's got Christmas, it's got Halloween, it's got birthdays, it's got, oh my gosh, um, what else has it got? New Year's, um, fall, this is a pretty one, this fall one. Okay, so that, you're gonna get that in your goodie bag. You're going to get a full roll of the Whisper White Crinkled Seam Binding, which you can color. Love that. And you're going to get a full pack of the 2022-2024 in color matte decorative dots. Okay, so you're going to get all of that plus all the cards cut out for you and so on for $40. Then you're going to come and stamp with us on November 5th. If you can't join us live, that's okay. You can... Um, you can join us later. Okay, I'm going to start, you guys, by doing some stamping first. So let's start with that. Do you remember the other day I showed you guys how you can use any color of our inks and turn them into embossed stamps? So I'm going to just put this down. This is just a piece of Whisper White. Let me just line that up. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna use my little magnet. Remember these magnets are so strong. I wanna make sure that you don't let the two of them mash together or it's a, they're in love and they'll never let go. I wanna just remind you that if you're using your Stampin' Radish, just looking, and now we're using, bring this down, red rubber, right? So you're going to take the mat out. So you don't want anything underneath your platform. Okay, because um, it would be too thick. You don't have to use it with photopolymer because they don't have that foam, right? Let's put, remember the tip? Let's turn this this way. I think we might be able to see it better. Let's, remember the tip? We're going to put a, a stamp case underneath our plate so that we get a nice surface. I'm going to stamp it in granny apple green. So let's do that. I love using a stamp apparatus because if I can't get my, I'll just pretend that I, oh, I made a mistake. Oh gosh, I don't, didn't get all the places I wanted. I can just re-ink and press and it'll, oh, it'll get all those spaces that I didn't get the first time. So there we go. Awesome. Now, here's the trick and why I'm using my stamp apparatus. You may have seen me do this the other day. So if you did then you'll know exactly what I'm going to do. If you didn't, oh, crinkle, crinkle with the wet wipes. I've just taken a wet wipe, you guys. I'm going to clean off my stamp. Without moving anything, okay, I'm going to take Versamark, and I'm going to apply it to my mitten. Okay, then we're going to... I cleaned off my stamp, right? And then I've got first mark on it. So now I'm stamping on the exact same spot, but this time it's with first mark. Okay. I'm going to just remove this from my stamp apparatus. I'm going to move it out of the way. And I'm going to apply some clear embossing powder. Now I was using my clear earlier and oh yeah. Hope I've got it. Here it is. Okay, so I'm going to put clear on top of this, and it's going to stick to the Versamark. Okay, and then I'm going to heat it, and magically we are going to have Granny Apple Green embossed image. You can do this with any of our colors. Okay. And so let's cut that out. Hope you guys are all doing well today. I know it's a super tip, Cindy. Um, it's one that we used to do all the time. And I was thinking the other day, I was doing the balloons and they just, I don't know, I wanted them to be a little bit shinier. And I remembered this technique from years ago. So I thought, oh, let's do that. Now, of course, typical. When I do that, then I'm obsessed and I want to do it all the time. So there we go. So now we're going to use that dye. And we're going to cut that out. Remember, with my eyes, I have to tape it down or it goes all wonky. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside for a sec. Next up, we've got some words. I'm going to stamp those. 
on pool party. And I am going to emboss this. So let's give it a little wipe with our embossing buddy. And let's grab white embossing powder and the first mark. So the word is be jolly. Actually, I can probably do it this way. Mm, I don't want to be skimpy. Let's give ourselves a little bit of a runway. Okay, put that underneath. Hi, Mern. Oh, hi, Jacqueline. How are you? We're using Celebrate with Tags for those that just joined. And we just went over how you can turn any color of our ink into an embossed ink just by using your Stamparatus and um, re-inking it. So ink it in color and then clean it and re-ink it in Versamark. Put your clear embossing powder on top. Super tip. So watch on replay if you missed that. And we're just going to do Be Jolly. I'm hoping that this is a, a dark enough color. We'll see. Oh, yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Now, this one we can just cut this excess off to make it a little bit smaller here. Same with my mitten. Keep that for later. Get another card. Uh, we're going to use the little label that lines up with those words. And I'm just going to see, do I have any tape? This tape looks pretty good. I like to use my tape as much over and over as much as I can. This is just repositionable tape. You've stamped with me for a while. You'll know it's this one here, the Scotch removable tape. Actually, you can use it more than once. You can use it quite a few times, actually. And I only do this. You might not need to, but I do this because, A, I'm on camera, and I want to make sure it's perfect or as close to perfect. And my eye can be a little bit wonky. So let's bring in our baby boss machine. As a reminder, we've got plate number three on the bottom. Okay, and we've got clear plate number two. We've got our dies and our paper, and then we've got clear plate number two again on top. Okay, and then we're just gonna run that through. Don't worry if you hear cracking, that just means that it's going through the rollers and you don't wanna be, it's not, a, I hope it doesn't alarm you, but it's, it's perfectly fine. All right, let's put those aside. Okay. Hi, Donna, nice to see you pop on. Okay, troops, here we go. So we've got our two pieces that we've cut out. We've got our base card. Now I've used Pool Party, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Okay, I've cut a piece of that fabulous designer series paper that comes with your goodie bag for your class. I've cut it down to two and three quarters by five and a half. And we're just gonna glue that to the front of the card. I love this one. Isn't it pretty? It kind of reminds me, I don't know why, it kind of reminds me of The Grinch. You know, the old movie with Boris Karloff, the animated one? Because everything was so colorful and whimsical. And it looks like the decorations they would have in Whoville. At least that's what I think. So I'm just setting it here, hmm, I don't know, half an inch from the edge. Just guess. Whoop. And I love my glue because then I can reposition it. Okay, so that's the start of our card. Now I've pulled out a brand new punch, brand new to me, and I think it was brand new in the catalog. I didn't have this punch. And then we did a class a while ago. Whoops. Go. We did a class a while ago, we meaning Angie and I. And um, she said one of the cards that she was making had this punch. And I thought, it's a nice punch. I don't have that punch. She couldn't believe I didn't have the punch. And then when I saw it, I thought, oh gosh, I got to get the punch. So I'm looking at the name. It's called Decorative Circle. That's really cool. Isn't that a cool shape? Love that. So I'm just taking our vellum and I'm just going to punch out a vellum circle. I just want a very subtle backdrop to my focal point here. Okay. So I'm just kind of putting it there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab those fantastic glue dots that come in paper pumpkin. 
I hope you guys got the October paper pumpkin because it's fantastic. And okay. And of course, I just, you don't you have to use all the glue dots when you make your cards. So you have some left over. So now I'm hoarding them because I love them. So I'm just going to use that to just kind of keep my vellum in place. Okay. So hopefully you can see it's sort of see through. So it just um, kind of um, softens the colors underneath. Okay. And then we've got our mitten. And we've got our words, but I want to use some of our ribbon. So let me grab the ribbon. Here it is. And I'm going to measure it off because I want to make it like a three. That looks good. So I just fold it into three parts and trimmed it off. I'm for those of you who like measurements, I'm going to guess and say it's about eight inches, but let's see, 10 inches. Okay, 10 inches, here we go. Now, white is fine, except for the colors that are in my card. I'm thinking that you kind of get lost. Can't really see the color. So I'm going to grab just a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to grab the balmy blue, dark balmy blue Stampin' Blend and I'm gonna color my ribbon. So just like you can make any ink color that we have an embossed image by adding the Versamark, you can make the ribbon any color you want using your Stampin' Blends. So just, if you don't have Stampin' Blends, you can also take the ribbon and run it along the surface of one of the ink pads, that works too. I just prefer this. I find it less messy and just more controlled. Okay, you have the punch. Yeah, I can't believe I didn't have the punch, Cindy. What was I thinking? I don't know. Kind of crazy. All right, so I'm going to just lay this in place, folding it into thirds, just like we had. Oops. Okay, so sort of like this. I'm going to just position, see where it is. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to, the easiest thing for me is I could use a regular glue dot or some stamp and seal, something like that. But honestly, I just find that if I just use a piece of scotch tape, not the repositionable one, like the real scotch tape, just there, it'll hold it and it'll be covered up by my mitt. Okay, so let's add the mitt. Hope you guys are all doing well. It's beautiful weather in Vancouver. We're spoiled. It's supposed to be beautiful all week. I don't know what I'm heading towards in Toronto, but it is what it is. Hopefully it's kind of nice. We've been having like 24, 25, 26 degrees. I don't think it's that hot there. <laughs> all right, let's add our Be Jolly. And this time I'm going to see. Yeah, I'm gonna just do it like that. So let's grab, make sure I'm just gonna put glue on that one end. I've gone the wrong way. So you know what, that's okay. We're just gonna turn it. We'll have Be Jolly go this way. That's fine. There's no rule. There we go. No right, wrong. There we go. Now to finish this puppy off, how about if we grab, oh please tell me it's here somewhere. It's gonna be all right in front of me. Let's grab those in color matte dots and let's jazz this up a bit. I think these glue dots, they just make me happy. The colors are so fantastic. Look at that, I got parakeet. Just love it. Tranquil Tide. And they all go beautifully with this paper. So I've got three. I've got the red, green, and blue. And it goes really nice with that paper. At least I think it does. Isn't that cute? I think that card is cute. Okay, so now what I want to do is show you my original, the one I made earlier. So you can see it side by side. So this one I used Granny Apple. 
believe it or not, this is uh, balmy blue, but when you add the embossing powder, it kind of turns the color a bit darker, which is kind of cool. And I used Granny Apple for the words on this one. So you can kind of see. Is that cute? I think it's cute. Spring and autumn is when Vancouver and Perth weather is very similar. That's true. I um, fall. We call it fall, Leanne. Um, Americans call it autumn, but Canadians call it fall because the leaves fall down. We're pretty simple that way. Um, it's my favorite season. I just love it. It is so easy, Kathy. Not only is it easy, it's a fabulous layout, right? You can just do it with anything. So I also made this card with the same products. I did use this fancy schmancy ribbon, um, this sparkly ribbon that we sell. But I made this one into a birthday card. I could have stuck some more things on here. I could have actually stuck some candles too. That would have been fun, wouldn't it? So same papers, pretty much the same elements, but we made a birthday card instead. And then just as a reminder, if you've missed any of my lives, go back and check. We made this card. Um, I think I made this one last week. And this is where I showed you guys how to make the um, embossed image. If you're ever looking for past videos you can you go to my facebook page and you can look under videos but it's probably easier if you go to youtube so my channel is stamp crazy and if you go over there you will see a whole listing and i always put a picture of the project as the first slide so you can find them easy yeah follows your yeah mine too cindy i love fall okay so we made this one on line or in person we made a shaker card. One of the cards I'm making for my cla the class that we're doing is a shaker card, hint, hint. So you want to come because you can get everything you need to make one. And we're going to show you how to make them. And then here is another card using that stamp set. Um, just a, a, This is a water um, color background, but same idea. You see the tag using part of the tag and happy birthday in the candles and the balloons. So that is today's project. There we go. And so hopefully you'll come into our class because we would love to have you. If you don't live in Canada, you can still join the class. Um, you can still join the class because you can purchase the PDF only. And I think it's 13 Canadian. And you can gather the products wherever you are. And um, cut your own paper and whatnot. Those are for non-Canadians. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thanks, Keisha. Thanks, you guys. Oh, thanks, Janet. I love it too. It's so simple. But isn't it? It's just kind of fun and whimsical. At least that's what I think. This looks like the Grinch. It looks like Whoville to me. Bye, Diane. See you soon. Okay, guys. So I won't be seeing you for a while. Let's say Wednesday. I won't see you again until two weeks. Ooh, I'll miss you. Um, hope you'll come back. If I get an opportunity to uh, go live, I will. But I can't promise because I don't know when I'll be at my sister's and I'll need to be there to have all the, you know, the lighting and whatnot. So if I do, I'll see you then. Oh, thank you. Thanks, um, Kathy. I will. I'm going to have... Um, I'm going to have a great time. I'm looking forward to seeing my daughter. We all look forward to seeing our kids, don't we? Okay. Thanks. Safe travels. Thanks, you guys. Bye for now and happy stamping. See you soon.